Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Tuesday. It's the last day of the month of February, and I am here once again continuing my live challenge. So my challenge, I have actually been talking about probate throughout this entire process. So today's topic is about how to determine if a will is valid. So, you know, people say they have a will and some don't have a will, but if you do have a will, you know, sometimes people don't believe that the will is valid or legitimate or any of those terms that you would like to use. But there are seven things that you need to look for or you should be considering when it comes to a will and its validity. First of all, it must be in writing. So you must have a will that is in writing. In the state of Georgia, it should be typewritten. However, if it is handwritten, it may be accepted. I'm not for sure. It may be accepted if it's handwritten. And if it is handwritten, you must have two signatures of witnesses who have witnessed this handwritten document. Okay, so first of all, it must be in writing. Second, the person must be at least 14 years of age when they write their will. And so, and that's a rule here in the state of Georgia. There are other states that require that they be 18 years of age, but in Georgia, they can be 14 years of age and have a valid will. Third, they must be of sound mind. So sound mind, they call it being having testamentary capacity, meaning, you know, you have the capacity to understand things. Um, you understand the consequences of the will. You understand the decisions that are being made also within that will. Fourth, it must be signed by the test the testator. So the testator is the person who's writing the will, whose will, who it belongs to. It's the testator. So, but it has to be signed by them using whatever mark they may use to identify their signature or their signature, but it must be signed. Fifth, um, you must have two witnesses of that will. So you must have two people to witness the will, to sign the will. They must also be competent. Now, I know sometimes it's hard to determine what people may think is competent or not, but you know, someone else who is of sound mind, they can make decisions um, and you trust them to make sound decisions. Um, six, the will does not have to be notarized. And so I know that's some people may question that, but it does not have to be notarized. As long as they have two signatures, it does not have to be notarized. However, however, if the testator wants to be self-proving, meaning when you say you're self-proving, meaning that when they are deceased and the, the will is going through probate, they do the probate court does not need to contact the two witnesses that signed that will in order for it to be valid and in order to proceed. So what this does, it speeds up the probate process because they're not waiting to hear back from these two witnesses of its validity, but it's based upon the fact that this is self-proving. So if it's a self-proving will, then self-proving does need to be notarized in order to make that valid. So notarization is not a requirement of the will However, if that testator wants it to be self-proving so that those two witnesses are not required to, to do anything through the probate process, then th that portion must be notarized. And seven, you, the will needs to have beneficiaries because the whole point of having a will and going through probate is so that you, so that that person's assets can be distributed to those people who they want them to go to, right? To their beneficiaries. So there need to be beneficiaries named in the will. And so basically though, if a will, if it's determined that a will is invalid, so we've gone through those seven steps and seven items, 
to determine whether or not the will is valid. But if it is deemed invalid, then it will basically go through the process process of intestate and we've talked about testate versus intestate testate meaning that there is a will intestate means there is no will and so basically it'll be just as though there is no will and therefore it will follow the laws of the probate court in terms of what gets distributed i hope this was helpful again i'm laquita joseph and i will see you again tomorrow for another day of my challenge so i'll see you then thank you and have a good evening